Hello, I am Teacher Aaron, and this video is an English lesson about the game Monopoly. Monopoly is very fun, and I am going to play a game of Monopoly in easy English. So let's watch. First, I click play, and then I'm going to go to online multiplayer. And my iPad is connecting. There are two different versions of the game that I can play, the quick version or the classic version. I am going to play classic because that is what most of us already know. Let's get started. All right, my name is Fing Tem and I'm at the end. The piece that I have is the penguin, so I'm going to click ready. And now the game is loading. The game is loading, it's uh, getting ready. And you can see here that the game board has a city in the middle. Here are the four pieces, and then we roll dice to see who goes first. And the first player is the race car, Kuzumbita. Kuzumbita rolled an eight, and they landed on Vermont Avenue. This is a blue property. Now, Kuzumbita decided to buy that property, and that's why we have a little green triangle underneath the property. The T-Rex, the dinosaur, is the pink player, Fahad, and Fahad chose to buy this property, the electric company. Ah, and now Fahad landed on the orange property, Tennessee Avenue, and, tennis, and Fahad bought that. Now it's my turn, so I'm going to roll the dice, and I rolled a six. I landed on a blue property, so I can either buy the property or I can auction the property and let other players buy it. But I want to buy the property for 100 Monopoly dollars. So you can see here, I just lost $100. Now I have $1,400 and I have one property. And then I end my turn. The point of the game is you want to get all the properties and you want your opponents to run out of money. When I am the only one left with money, my opponents have lost and then I have won. Okay, Kuzumbita bought the orange property, St. James Place. Now Fahad rolled a four. Advance to the nearest railroad. All right, there are four railroad properties on this game board. And Fahad will probably buy this property. Okay, Fahad did buy that property. And now Fahad has three properties. It's my turn again, so I'll roll. Fahad has three properties and I only have one. Okay, I rolled a seven. I landed on States Avenue and I want to buy this property for $140. Okay, now I have two properties, which is not very good, but at least I'm doing better then Silent Pot 708. Oh no, Silent Pot landed on my property, so they had to give me money. Okay, Kuzumbita landed on a red property, and this person bought that property. Now Kuzumbita has three properties, Fahad has three properties, now four properties, and I have two properties, and unfortunately, Silent Pot 
has no properties. Silent pot has zero properties. My turn again. And I rolled a four. I rolled a four and I land on community chest. Ooh, I have to pay for each house and each hotel. Fortunately, I don't have any houses or any hotels, so I don't have to pay anything. I'll end my turn. Oh, Fahad is telling me to hurry up. <laughs> Did you see that? All right. Silent Pot rolled a seven, or I don't remember what they rolled. Silent Pot still does not have any properties. It's so sad. Okay, Kuzumbita has landed on a green property, and they bought the green property. But now look, Kuzumbita is running low on money, and so is Fahad. Well, not anymore. Fahad landed on Go, and when you land on Go, you get $200, or when you pass Go. Ah, good. Fahad landed on my property and had to pay me $6. Now Fahad rolled an eight, and they landed on a vacant property, Virginia Avenue. Fahad just bought Virginia Avenue. Wow, this is very bad. Fahad has one, two, three, four, five. Fahad has five properties. Okay, I landed on red, and I'm going to buy that. Now, I could start trading with people to try to get more properties, but I think I'll wait one more turn. So I end my turn, and I let Silent Pot go. Silent Pot, unfortunately, still doesn't have any properties. Okay, Silent Pot landed on Waterworks, and he will probably buy Waterworks for $150, but the waterworks is not a very good property. So Silence Pot is still losing. Ooh, Kuzumbita landed on Boardwalk. That cost $400. It's a very expensive property. And now Kuzumbita only has $300 left. But that's okay because Kuzumbita is about to pass go and Kuzumbita will get $200 when he or she passes go. My turn again. Let's see what we roll. Nine. I rolled a nine, and I got community chest again. Let's see what it is. Oh, go to jail. That's not what I want. I go to jail, and I have to pay $50 to get out of jail next turn. Okay, Silent Pod, Silent Pot landed on a railroad. So finally, Silent Pot is starting to get some properties. Silent Pot only has two properties. Okay, landed on Chance, advanced to Illinois Avenue. Do I own Illinois Avenue? I do. Okay, so Kuzumbita had to pay me for that property. Ah, Fahad is coming to jail with me. Okay, it's my turn again. I have to pay $50 to get out of jail. Then I roll the dice. I rolled a nine. Oh, good. I rolled a nine. I get an orange property. I'm going to buy that. And now I can try to trade with someone for a property. Let's see, what do I want? I think I want to get the orange properties. So let's see if I can trade my pink property for this orange property. And then I'll also give this person $100. I'm making an offer for a trade. They can accept my offer. Okay, this player accepted my offer. 
All right. Now let's see. What else can I trade? Can I trade this one for that one? Maybe I'll give him some money too. Although I'm running low on money myself, so we have to be careful. Let's see if Kuzumbita accepts my offer. I guess, okay, Kuzumbita rejected my offer. So I did not uh, get my monopoly. I want to have all three of the orange properties. Oop, what's happening here? Okay. I want to have all three of the orange properties so I can start putting houses and hotels on my properties. Once you have all three, you can build houses and hotels, and then you make a lot more money when someone lands on that property. Ooh, fortunately for Fahad, um, I did not have that orange property. Otherwise, he would have had to pay a lot of money. All right, I landed on Marvin Gardens. I have to pay $24 to Kuzumbita, but that's okay. I also rolled doubles. That means I rolled five and five, and so I get to roll Again, three, ooh, should I buy it? I only have $600, but I think that's okay. I'm going to buy it. And now I have a very good position because I have a lot of properties that I can trade with Kuzumbita. All right, Silent Pot landed on Chance, and the bank paid them $50. Kuzumbita rolled an eight. <gasps> oh, no. They landed on Park Place, but they can't buy it because Kuzumbita does not have enough money. Well, I guess Kuzumbita can, uh, can mortgage some other properties in order to buy a park place. Ooh, this is not good for me. Now, Kuzumbita probably will not want to trade with me. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, the T-Rex, Fahad, landed on Waterworks, but you don't get very much money for waterworks. Three, one, two, three. I have to pay $50 to Silent Pot. That is not what I wanted to do. All right, let's end my turn. Ooh, okay, the other railroad. Silent Pot now has two railroads. That means Silent Pot will get $100 every time someone lands on his railroad. Okay, Silent Pot just paid $18 to Kuzumbita. Let's keep watching to see what happens. Silent Pot rolled doubles for the third time. When you roll doubles, you get to go again. You get to take another turn. But if you roll doubles three times in a row, then you go to jail. Advance to the nearest railroad. If owned, pay the owner twice the rent that they are entitled. 
That means Kuzumbita had to pay $100 to Silent Pot. And now Kuzumbita paid $20 to me. Ooh, community chest. Let's see what it is. Receive an inheritance. Collect $100. Okay, that was pretty good for Fahad. It's my turn. Let's see what I can do. All right, I passed go, and when you pass go, you collect $200. Then I had to pay $2 because I landed on Mediterranean Ave. I rolled doubles, so I get to go again, and I landed on a railroad, which I will buy. All right, now let's see if I can make a deal with um, Kuzumbita. Let's see if they will trade this to me. I'm gonna give him a lot of properties for his one orange property because I want to get a color set. and he rejected my offer. Kuzumbita does not want to play with me because Kuzumbita already has a color set. This is very bad for me because all of the properties that I have, for all of the properties that I have, Kuzumbita owns one property in each one of the color sets. So Kuzumbita does not want to trade with me. All right, Kuzumbita does not have enough money to pay for Venton or Av, so he is mortgaging his other properties. That means he turns them upside down and he cannot use those properties because he mortgaged them. So he got money for mortgaging them so that he could buy Venton or Avenue. The only problem is that Kuzumbita is very low on money right now. I am very low on money too. Oh no, Fahad got a color set and now Fahad is putting a lot of houses on his colors, on his properties. This is very bad. Ooh, Fahad is mortgaging his properties so that he can put houses on his pink properties. That is a very risky move because if he runs out of money, he will have to sell houses and he loses a lot of money when he does that. Oh, good, I rolled five, so I did not land on uh, pink. Let me try to tr make a trade with Kuzumbita. Okay, I will trade him this, and I will give him some money for his property. I am desperate. Give me that property. Please give me the property. Kuzumbita rejected the offer. Let me make another offer. Please accept my offer. I want Kuzumbita to accept my offer. If he does not, we will probably all lose to Fahad because Fahad is the only one with a color set. I don't know what to do. Kuzumbita does not want to make any trades right now. Maybe I can just offer him money. 
I don't have very much money though, that's the problem. This is very risky. I don't know what to do. And Kuzumbita refuses to make trades with me. Kuzumbita refuses all of my trades. All right, he's preparing a counter offer. Kuzumbita wants me to give him Illinois Avenue and almost all of my money. Let me try this. The problem is, if I give him all of my money, then I cannot unmortgage St. James Place. And I cannot, he wants me to give him $210. I will offer him a little bit more money in exchange for Vermont Avenue. He rejected my offer. I wish Kuzumbita would play Monopoly with me so that I could have a property set. He is not very giving. Okay, maybe I'll offer him that in exchange for the orange property. Come on, accept my deal. No, he's preparing a counter offer. That means he did not like the offer I made. He wants me to give him more money. $150, I'm already giving him a lot. Okay, I'll accept. Man, Kuzumbita drives a hard bargain. I'm going to unmortgage that property. And then I'm going to mortgage my green property. And I will mortgage, you no. Know, how much money do I have? I only have $296. Okay, I'm going to put one house on each property that I own, which means I also need to mortgage one more. All right, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> and I hope somebody lands on me next turn. That was a very long turn but I had to try to do something, otherwise uh, Fahad will win. Hopefully Fahad lands on one of my properties next turn. There is a very good chance of that because he is seven spaces away from my property. Let's see what Silent Pot does. Silent Pot is in jail, waiting in jail. Silent Pot rolled a four. They did not roll a double, so they stay in jail. And now Silent Pot is deciding what to do next. 
and we will wait for Kuzumbita to go. All right, now it is Kuzumbita's turn. Kuzumbita rolled a double, and he landed on his own property, Park Place. Kuzumbita gets to roll again because he rolled a double. Kuzumbita rolled doubles twice. That's two times in a row. Now, Kuzumbita gets to go one more time, but if he rolls doubles, which he did, now Kuzumbita goes to jail. Now it's Fahad's turn. We have to hope that Fahad lands on my orange property. If he does, then I might survive. Oh no! Oh five, good, good, five. Kuzumbita needs to raise $68 so that they can pay money to me. And Kuzumbita decided to mortgage the electric company. Oh, I'm sorry, not Kuzumbita, Fahad. Fahad mortgaged the electric company to raise enough money to pay me. Now I have $116. And I rolled an eight. That means I get out of jail and I land on my own property. Since I rolled doubles, I get to go again. I have to go again. And I rolled eight again. Ooh. I do not have enough money to buy Atlantic Avenue, so I'm going to put it up for auction. Auction, that means everyone gets to bid on this property. When you bid on a property, it means you offer to pay a certain amount until someone else pays more. And I will bid ooh, $60. I will bid 100 Oh no, not 120. Oh good. All right, I don't have enough money to pay for this. Wow, Kuzumbita really wants this property. And it looks like it's going to Silent Pot. The winner is Silent Pot for $180, which is less than it's worth. So Silent Pot made money. And now I roll a three. That is not good. It means I pay $24 to Kuzumbita. That is not good. And I end my turn. I have to hope that someone lands on my property now. Nine. That, oh good. Silent Pot landed on my property so I get more money. I got $80. Now I have enough money to buy one more house on my property. Okay, Kuzumbita did not get out of jail. Ooh, 12. That means Fahad landed on Oh, good. Fahad needs to raise money. That means Fahad needs to, set, to mortgage another property. What we want is for Fahad to run out of money so that Fahad has to sell houses on his pink properties. And 11. Good. This is good. Fahad now needs to sell houses on his pink properties. Good, good, good. That means Kuzumbita also gets $150 though, or more than that. Kuzumbita gets $200, but I am not worried about Kuzumbita. Maybe I should be, but I think Kuzumbita is not very good. But you never know, they can still win. Especially if I land on Kuzumbita's property, which I did. Unfortunately, I need to raise $3, so I have to sell a house. This game <laughs> just became very bad for me. And very good for Kuzumbita. 
Maybe I should not have spoken bad about Kuzumbita so quickly. Oh no. Let's keep playing though. Anything can happen. Hopefully Kuzumbita rolls an eight. And he did, but it was not doubles, so he did not get out of jail. Let's keep playing. Okay, Fahad has to pay $25 to Kuzumbita. And Fahad put another house on his pink property. And now we are waiting to see what happens next. Now it's my turn. I hope I don't roll doubles. Okay, I rolled 10, which puts me on, on a chance. I hope it's good. Ooh, that's not good. Advance to the nearest railroad and pay them double. That means I have to pay $100. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't have very much money, but I think I should, mm, should I buy a house or no? It cost me $100, but let's take a look at this property. If I put a $100 house on it, then I will get $70. So I think I'm going to hold on to my money for now. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Kuzumbita now has a lot of money. I think what I should try to do is sell some of my pro- Oh no! I should have put down a house. Oh well. I wanted to put a house on that property and I didn't. Silly me. Ooh. This is bad. I think Kuzumbita might win, even though he made a lot of bad decisions. Let's keep playing and find out. All right, it's my turn again. Six, and I land on Kentucky Avenue. I do not have enough money, so I will put it up for auction. And Kuzumbita really wants this property because he already has two. All right, I will bid 100, well, I won't bid more than that. Let Kuzumbita get it, let Kuzumbita get it. That way he has to sell houses. $500, Kuzumbita is going to pay $500 for this property. All right, and Kuzumbita now has to mortgage some of his properties or sell houses. He's selling houses, okay. I take back what I said about Kuzumbita maybe winning. <laughs> Kuzumbita is a very bad Monopoly player. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's see if I can bargain with Kuzumbita. Let's see if I can sell him this. For money. Oh, he doesn't have very much money. Never mind. What I want to do is put down more properties, but I'm scared because I don't have very much money. So I will end my turn. 
I do not understand why Kuzumbita sold all the houses on his blue properties. That seems like a very bad idea to me. All right, Kuzumbita is preparing a counter offer. That means he does not like the offer someone made him. He is making a counter offer. A counter, an offer that he thinks is better than the offer that Silent Pot made to him. And Silent Pot rejected the offer. Okay, Kuzumbita landed on his own property. And now Fahad will roll. Let's see what Fahad rolls. Oh no, six again. I should have put down a house on that property. Oh, that was a very bad decision. I wanted to put a house on that property, but I didn't. Five, what do I land on? Okay, I have to pay $22 to Silent Pot. And I end my turn. Ooh, Silent Pot lands on a light blue property. So I think all of the properties have been purchased now. All of the properties are taken except for Baltic Avenue. There's one brown property that is not taken yet. Okay, it's this one right here. All right, what is next? Six. And Fahad needs to give money to Kuzumbita. That might be good for me because Fahad now has to sell properties soon. It's my turn again, and I land on a mortgaged property. Since this is mortgaged, it means I don't have to sell anything. Um, let's see, what can I try to sell? What if I try to sell this for that property plus all of Kuzumbita's money. <laughs> Kuzumbita is known to make some bad decisions in this game. So let's see if he is willing to do that. Kuzumbita almost always makes a counter offer because he wants to get more money than what I offer him. Let's see if he accepts. He wants me to pay 100 and give him that. I do not accept your offer. But what I will do is offer you to pay me only this much. He rejected my offer. I wish I had another trading partner other than Kuzumbita. Unfortunately, Kuzumbita is the only person that I can trade with. And that makes me very sad. All right, Kuzumbita is preparing a counter offer. Of course, Kuzumbita is preparing a counter offer. Kuzumbita never accepts any offer that does not benefit him a lot. So, uh, Fahad is saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Fahad is very impatient. He 
11, Fahad Urkuzumbita lands on his own property. I hope I don't land on that property. If I land on boardwalk, I will probably lose. I already will probably lose, but let's see. Seven, luxury tax. Oh no, I had to pay $100. That is not good at all. Let's end my turn and see what happens. Six, Silent Pot needs to pay $36 to Kuzumbita. Nine, and Silent Pot goes to jail. That is good for me because now Silent Pot might land on my property, but he cannot land on Boardwalk, which would be very bad. Oh no! Wait, did he land on? Oh, I did my math wrong. Okay, Fahad landed on Go. He passed Boardwalk, he landed on Go, got $200, and now Fahad is buying more houses. Five, what do I land on? Ooh, should I buy that? Yes, I'm going to buy it. And now, maybe I can trade with Kuzumbita. Let's see if Kuzumbita will make a trade with me. I give you two properties. You give me $300. Seems like a fair trade to me. He will probably not accept. Fahad is very impatient. Fahad keeps saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Let's see if I can make a deal with Silent Pot. Um, I give you this property. You give me that property plus $270. You never know. And Silent Pot also rejected my offer. I thought it was worth a try. And Silent Pot did not get out of jail. No. I will not pay you in order to give you a property set. <laughs> if you pay me, then maybe we can make a deal. He did not want to pay me. No. You pay me. <laughs> Wait, he wants to give me that. Let's try to make this deal. Fahad says, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to say something to Sapad. <laughs> I wish there was a slow down option. <laughs> oh no, they made a deal. They made a deal and I still don't have any deal. I will accept that deal. All right, I got a color set and a little bit of money. 
This is not very good for me, but it's not the worst. Oh no, I should have put a house on that property. <laughs> oh, I should have put a house on that property. I would have made back my money by now. Three people have landed on that property. Okay, let's keep playing. It's Fahad's turn. Fahad rolls a 12. Oh no, I hope Fahad does not land on, on St. James Place. If Fahad rolls a four, six. Okay, that's okay. I like it when he lands on that property. That means he needs to sell houses and he also needs to pay money to me. So that's good. I like that. This term, I, this turn, I am going to put houses on my own properties. Fahad is thinking about making a trade offer. Ah. Fahad wanted to sell his railroad for $300, but Silent Pot did not accept. Now Fahad will probably need to make to sell houses unless he is able to make a trade offer. <clears throat> so I have to plug in my laptop. Okay, plug that in. Fahad is going to sell his railroad for $157 to Kuzumbita. But we all know Kuzumbita never accepts trade deals. Never mind, Kuzumbita did accept the trade deal. Now Kuzumbita has $0. <laughs> And Kuzumbita needs to pay, to mortgage something in order to pay for his new railroad. So he mortgaged a railroad in order to pay for his other railroad. Wow, Fahad is very impatient. Okay, it's my turn. I hope I don't land on pink, and I didn't. That's okay, I landed on blue. Let's see, how much do I have to pay if I land on Virginia? I have to pay $500. Ooh, that is very scary. But I think I should still buy two houses. Okay, I hope I don't land on Virginia, but we will see. We will see. There is a card that sends someone to, to New York Avenue. So if someone gets that card, they will go to New York Avenue, and then they have to pay me. All right, Kuzumbita landed on his own property. Fahad is now going. Fahad rolled a seven and landed on Kuzumbita's property. Fahad needs to pay $44 to Kuzumbita, which means Fahad is very low on money. Fahad is thinking about making a trade offer. What could the trade offer be? Ah. Fahad just wanted money. He wants money, 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 which is smart. And Fahad put more houses on his properties. I hope I do not land on his properties. Oh no, I did. I landed on the pink property, which means I don't have enough money to keep playing the game. I'm going to mortgage all of my properties. I have nothing left. I only have two orange properties. I will end my turn and I will quit the game. Um, 
But let's just wait one turn and see what happens. Will Kuzumbita win or will Fahad win? Ooh, Silent Pot, oh, Silent Pot doesn't have any properties, so that doesn't do anything. Silent Pot goes to jail. And unmortgages one property. Let's see, who do I want to win? Fahad lands on uh, a mortgaged property and buys hotels. Ooh, that's risky. It's my turn. All right, and I roll a five, which is my own property, so I don't do anything. All right, let's see what happens. And Silent Pot rolls a three, so they do not get out of jail. If Silent Pot did get out of jail, they would have lost the game. Ooh, luxury tax. That means Kuzumbita pays $100 and is now very low on money. Five. Okay, Fahad lands on chance. Advance to Illinois, advance to Illinois Avenue. So Fahad passes go, collects $200, and goes to Illinois Avenue, where he pays Kuzumbita $40. and Fahad unmortgages the electric company. It's my turn, and I go to jail. I rolled a 12, and now I go to jail. And I will end my turn. And... Okay, they don't. Silent Pot does not get out of jail. Nine. Chance. Interesting. Okay, and Kuzumbita collects $50 from the bank. All right, Fahad rolls a six and lands on a mortgaged property. I do not have $50 to pay, so I have to roll a double. Let's see if I get out of jail. I do not roll a double, so I have to stay in jail, and I end my turn. Silence Pot needs to pay $28 to get out of jail. And Silent Pot rolls a six. Man, that's the fourth time someone has landed on St. James Place. Unfortunately, I didn't put a house on that property in time, although I didn't have enough money, so I don't know if that would have made any difference anyways. 11, Kuzumbita lands on my property again. Wow, you should have landed there when I had houses on it. and Kuzumbita unmortgages some railroads. Who do you want to win? I think I want Fahad to win because Fahad has played smart. Even though Fahad was very impatient, <laughs> Fahad kept saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I did not like that. But Kuzumbita played very poorly, so I don't want Kuzumbita to win. Silent Pot, unfortunately, just never had a chance because Silent Pot started off without rolling good dice. He didn't land on any properties, so, Kuzumbita, so Silent Pot started off at a disadvantage.
Whose turn is it? Kuzumbita. Okay, let's watch Kuzumbita. Kuzumbita rolls a four and lands on chance. <gasps> Go back three spaces. That puts him on my property, but I don't have any houses on it. Oh, no. Uh, if I had not landed on Fahad's pink property, I would have just made a lot of money. Unfortunately, it did not work out for me. Let's keep playing. Nine. Okay, and Fahad visits jail. Fahad is visiting me in jail. My turn. Let's see if I can roll a double. Five. I do not roll a double, so I will have to pay $50 to get out of jail. I have $50 now, so I can pay that, and I land on a mortgaged railroad, and I end my turn. Nine. And Silent Pot lands on Reading Railroad, and he has to pay how much? He has to pay $50 to Kuzumbita. Three. Chance. Again, building loan matures. Collect $150. All right, Kuzumbita has a little bit of money now, but Fahad is definitely in the lead. Kuzumbita has been playing very poorly the whole game. And Fahad lands on Community Chest. Oh no, Fahad has to pay $345 for his hotels. That's $115 each. I roll a four and I land on my own property again. And then, I roll again because I rolled doubles, and I roll 11. I go to jail. Oh, never mind. That's bad math. <laughs> okay, I don't have any money, so I need to mortgage another orange property. And then I pay Kuzumbita $48, and let's just see who wins. I already know I am going to lose... Silent Pot is going to lose. It's just a matter of if Fahad is able to beat Kuzumbita. And there's $25 for me. So, I'm sorry, $32 for me. Where will Kuzumbita land? Hmm. Fahad has to pay $50 to Kuzumbita. That's okay, though. It's my turn. And I roll 11. That means I land on go, and I collect $200. And just to make things interesting, I'm going to unmortgage these two properties. Let's see what happens. Six. Silence Pot lands on Atlantic Avenue. All right. Kuzumbita lands on a mortgage property and then rolls doubles twice. Kuzumbita lands on his, on his own property again. Kuzumbita passes go, he collects $200, and lands on my property, which is mortgaged. So I don't get anything from that. Six. Okay, that is mortgaged, so Fahad does not need to pay anything. I roll a three, 
which is my own property and I don't need to pay anything. Silence pot goes. I think, I still think Fahad is going to win. The only thing that might stop him from winning is if Fahad lands on Boardwalk or Park Place and then needs to sell some houses, sell his hotels. Okay, Kuzumbita is coming around. There's a chance he might land on Fahad next turn, but there's a chance that Fahad might land on Kuzumbita this turn, and he does not. He lands on the mortgaged railroad and is safe for this turn. Let's see where I land. 10, that puts me on a pink property and I lose the game. I am bankrupt. That means I do not have any money. Everything I own goes to Fahad. Now Fahad can start building properties, can start building houses on my properties. I'm out of the game. I can either quit or I can spectate. I will spectate. That means I will watch to see who wins the game. Ooh, and now Silent Pot is out of the game. Silent Pot is bankrupt. So that leaves only Kuzumbita and Fahad. Kuzumbita will have to pay for Silent Pot's mortgaged properties. And, and Kuzumbita will probably have to pay, will have probably have to mortgage something in order to pay for these properties. And he does. What does Kuzumbita mortgage? Oh no, what is he doing? What is he doing? Kuzumbita just sold his houses in order to unmortgage a green property. I don't understand how Kuzumbita is still in the game. He is playing so poorly. And now we know that Fahad simply has won the game. He has already won. The game is over. We might watch him play one or two more turns, but Kuzumbita cannot come back from this. Kuzumbita has lost. All right. Fahad landed on income tax, which means he collects $200 for passing go, and then he pays $200 to income tax. Kuzumbita lands on his own property, and again, we already know who is going to win. Fahad is going to win, not Kuzumbita, but for the sake of this video, I will keep watching with you until the very end, just so you can see what happens. Kuzumbita got very lucky, like Fahad is saying, hurry up again. Kuzumbita got very lucky. He landed on a lot of properties. He had a lot of people land on Boardwalk and Park Place, and he's still going to lose. Fahad was lucky as well. Um, he landed on some good properties, and but not nearly as good as Kuzumbita. But Fahad played better. He did a better job of playing the game with the little bit of, of money that he had and the few properties that he had. And now Fahad is going to win. Okay, Kuzumbita will come around again and we'll see, okay. Fahad lands on Kentucky Avenue, and he paid $90. That's okay. Fahad has $300. As long as he doesn't roll three, he will be fine. And Kuzumbita lands on St. Charles Place, and that is the end of the game. Kuzumbita cannot come back from this. He has to mortgage everything he has, and he has to give all of his money to Fahad. Now Fahad will build houses on the orange properties. Ooh, Kuzumbita almost landed on 
uh, game almost ended just there. Okay, Kuzumbita lands on on the orange property, my old property, and then Fahad goes. Fahad rolls a ten, which is mortgaged, so he does not have to do anything. Kuzumbita rolls again. Kuzumbita rolls a nine and lands on Waterworks. Kuzumbita has to mortgage a property in order to pay for Waterworks. Fahad rolls again. There's no chance of him landing on Boardwalk. He could land on Luxury Tax. He could still land on Chance. That might hurt him a little bit. But there's nothing that can happen to Fahad at this point that will stop him from winning. Kuzumbita does not have any chance. Kuzumbita goes to jail, which can be good because you don't have to pay rent while you're in jail. Um, but that only lasts three turns. Wow, this game is going a lot longer than I expected. Fahad passes go and he lands on Mediterranean. Now he will probably build houses on, uh, yep, on the orange. He should build more than that though. Yep, he should probably put three houses at least on orange. Yep, he can put three more houses down. Good, now he has three houses on each of his orange properties. And, oh, he's building four houses. That's aggressive. And he only has $94 left. But I guess he just wants to make sure that Kuzumbita loses if Kuzumbita lands on orange. If I were him, I would only build three properties each. Okay, it's Fahad's turn because Kuzumbita did not get out of jail. He rolls a four. That's okay, that's mortgaged. Kuzumbita rolls again to see if he can get doubles to get out of jail, which he does not want to get out of jail. He wants to stay in jail. He does not roll doubles, which means he will stay in jail one more turn. Fahad rolls 10. Fahad rolls doubles and lands on a mortgaged railroad. He also has to roll to pay again. This is why I don't think Fahad should have spent all his money. Okay, Fahad lands on community chest. What will it say? Collect $100. Okay, that's fine. Now Fahad will have enough money if he lands on red, but that was very lucky. I think Fahad made a very poor choice by putting four, proper, uh, four houses on each of his properties. Okay, so he has to pay $90 to Kuzumbita. That's okay. Fahad is still going to win. Kuzumbita will roll to get out of jail or pay $50. He will try to roll first, and if he doesn't roll a double, okay, it's not a double, so he has to pay $50. And he lands on community chest. That was a very lucky roll. And he collects $25. Okay, I thought, I thought that maybe the game would be over now. Um, but no, he landed on community chest, which means Kuzumbita will live to go around the board one more time. And Kuzumbita rolls a five. That puts him on chance. Okay, what's the chance do? Go to jail. Ha! He just got out of jail. Wow. Kuzumbita is so lucky. But that also means Kuzumbita goes right back in front of all these properties. Look at all these properties that he has to pass now. All right, we'll see if he rolls a double. If he rolls a four, a six, or an eight as doubles, then Kuzumbita loses the game. Seven, it's not a double, so he stays in jail. Kuzumbita has just been unbelievably lucky in this game. He played very poorly, and yet he has rolled 
very well. So he's still in the game. Kuzumbita should have lost a long time ago, but he just keeps getting very lucky rolls. 11. All right, that puts him on a mortgaged property. No problem. Now it's Kuzumbita's turn. And Fahad is buying more house, more hotels. He shouldn't do that, but it's okay. He's still going to win. Kuzumbita will try to roll a double to get out of jail. And Kuzumbita does not roll a double. He rolls 10 and passes all of those properties. How? How does he pass all of those properties? Kuzumbita is unbelievably lucky. I do not understand how he rolls so lucky. And Kuzumbita will live to go around the board one more time. This game is much longer than it should have been. All right. Kuzumbita's turn again. And he rolls an eight. Okay, doubles. That's good. It means he'll go around faster. He also had to pay $80. So he's very low on money. If he lands on community chest, chance, or luxury tax, which he did not, he lands on park place. All right, Fahad's turn. And Fahad rolls an eight. That's doubles. And he does have to pay uh, $90 to Kuzumbita. Fahad keeps landing on Kuzumbita's properties, but Kuzumbita never lands on Fahad's property. And just to be annoying, I'm going to tell Fahad to hurry up when it's his turn. All right, Kuzumbita has to pay $6 to Fahad. Oh, Fahad says goodbye. He doesn't want to play anymore. He's getting bored. I'm going to say, hurry up. <laughs> All right. Even though Fahad is leaving, Fahad just quit because he's bored of this game. Hurry up. Hurry up. Fahad is bored, so he's leaving the game. But the computer will still play for him. And as it turns out, Kuzumbita just landed on Fahad's property. So. Oh my goodness. All right, the game is still going, but we all know that Kuzumbita has lost and Fahad has won the game. So I don't want to keep watching this game anymore. It's boring to watch a game when we already know who is going to win. So I am going to end the game here. Maybe I'll give it one more turn and if Kuzumbita doesn't lose, then we will stop watching the game. Oh my goodness, Fahad keeps rolling doubles. Fahad rolled an eight, which is a mortgaged property now. And now Fahad is going to put a bunch of houses on his brown properties. Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! Kuzumbita is being funny. He's saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. That's the same thing that I did. And Kuzumbita collects $50. Uh, Fahad lands on a mortgaged property. And Kuzumbita is still going to lose. Why is Fahad thinking about making a trade offer? That doesn't make any sense. Just keep playing. Fahad is offering $400 for two railroads, but Kuzumbita rejected that. He doesn't want to give any more properties to Fahad. 
Uzumbita landed on Boardwalk, which is mortgaged, and he rolls a 12, which should end the game now. I hope. He needs to raise $400. No, that does not end the game. <laughs> okay. I'm done watching this. We've watched way too many turns after we know that Fahad is already going to win. So I am going to quit the game. And I hope you enjoyed watching Monopoly. Um, if you want to see more videos of me playing games in easy English, you can click on this link here. Bye-bye.